Okay. Okay, I can. Uh, sorry, I can only read this in English. I'm. No, you don't You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one. Oh. Okay, now. Well, this is uh, about this catharsis. And in your, in the beginning of, of, of your paper or in the internet, you have the point of fundamental approaches to the cognition of reality. And uh, this is a difficult thing to do, but catharsis is depending on this. Uh, you cannot have theories which are just theories and say nothing. You have to you have to, you have to take the truth. You have to take. Uh, understand that nature and history are as they are, and they are not different. They are not dependent on theories. They are as they are. One catharsis. moment for translate. Yeah, one moment for translate. Катарсис, катарсис, которым, которым посвящена эта конференция, он должен быть в основном исторический и не зависеть в большой в сильной степени от неких теоретических исследований. And you have the second point, organizing levels, elements, and structure of objects. It is, you need, instead of theories, you need qualifying descriptions of observation, not quantifying. As soon as you quantify an observation, it is not true anymore, because the numbers say, this will be forever, this will be for the next billion of years, but nature is not не нужно дискретных каких-то описаний, а нужны как раз качественные, качественные представления информации. Now you have problems of time and space to clear in this catharsis. And uh, here, it, I have the example, I have, I have the subs, uh, what we have found out with the GFMI, the gravitational... Uh, uh, field measuring instrument, which I have in three room 353. If anybody wants to see it, you can come and see it. In the previous докладе I говорил, упоминал о тех проблемах, которыми занимаетесь вы, пространство, время и информация. And with this, we found substance-related gravitational uh, resonance. We do not have gravitation as you learn it at school. Each substance has its own gravitational field. That's what we found with the GFMI. And the, with that, you can prove, for example, faster than light transmission of energy and of impulse. And, you know, okay. uh, у него есть опыт работы с гравитационными, с гравитационными явлениями, но вот последнюю мысль я как-то не успел уловить. There's uh, also the thermodynamics and electrodynamics you also put in this catharsis difference as a, as a, as a theme. Huh? And uh, this is we dealt with in the energetic uh, vortex universe. What I said before about the gravitation, gravitation works in vortexes. There's not one single line, straight line in the universe, there's not one single closed circle in the universe. Значит, когда мы говорим о гравитации, а сюда надо включать электродинамику, значит, мы должны отметить, что когда мы смотрим это с точки зрения катарсиса, мы не, не можем говорить о дискретности, а должны говорить о неких особых точках, вокруг которых и происходит вращение. And when we go to the point of energy, engineering, and technologies of the new millennium, it is technology actually consists, as Victor Schauberger says, you have to develop something that functions, that works. You cannot make theories. It has to work. 
And this is, you can put this in one sentence, uh, understand and copy. In, in German, it might be uh, kapieren okay. and kopieren. Huh? Значит, на самом деле наше, наше знание должно сводиться к тому, чтобы понять и воспроизвести. Nature is not is always described uh, uh, in numbers and not as observation. So, ну и самое опасное это, конечно, неверная неверная интерпретация, неверный вывод законов, потому что суть суть познания, ну она состоит в том, чтобы вот медленно проникать. Now the, the United Nations have programs about watching the world if any dangers appear. Not just political dangers, like crisis and so, but dangers in thinking, dangers in, uh, in, in making us unhappy, so to say, and making the work of the United Nations uh, impossible. Uh, that is uh, a program of global watch. And uh, there's also, for example, there's a book about, I don't talk about the book, Keeping Watch, huh? Мы должны, мы должны сосредоточиться на тех опасностях, с которыми встречается общество. Я имею в виду не только политические, которые могут быть решены в рамках ООН, но и те, которые вот, ну, он в своей этой книге описал более подробно. So this, uh, this, this, this book is by, by from the uh, Canadian University, uh, military university. I don't know if you have something like this in Russia, this global watch, I don't know. Значит, там э, у него приведены результаты университетов, исследований университетов Канады. Ну, российских университетов он просто не знает. Yes, sir. So in the UN peace operations, uh, United Nations peace operations uh, have this psychological challenge of this watching. Uh, the excitation background of the history we learn at school and which is not correct because we do not recognize the big global catastrophes in the past. Uh, Only a thousand years ago, only 650 years ago, there was very big catastrophe. We don't learn about that at school, even though it is easy to understand when you think of the uh, uh, Gregorian calendar reform. In that calendar reform, you want in that calendar reform, you had to take out days of the calendars of the calendar. You had to introduce a new length of the year. Now that can only be if the if the Earth moves out of her orbit or out of her movements very suddenly, and we do not learn that at school. But it is logical that it must have happened in about the 14th century. Изучение истории часто оказывается не очень полезным, потому что те катастрофы, о которых говорится в истории. Они не формулируют, для них не формулируются ну, рецепты по преодолению этих последствий. И это как бы делает бесполезным вот тот процесс, который ну, происходит. Did not agree with the heavens, with observation the heavens. The first time it was 1372. That's the middle 40 in the Trecento, as the uh, Italians still say. Now these things, of course, if nobody wants to, uh, wants to tell that at school, if you if you cannot learn it at school, uh, and everything, everybody goes after, after with these wrong data they have uh, in history. 
which is also uh, in numbers because of the chronology, and the chronology is wrong, because uh, as soon as you have, if you put on numbers, uh, you, you go into an endless uh, field of difficulties. These wrong things are used, uh, are used by the NWO. Now you you write in your uh, things where well, I have it here. You write that this catharsis uh, conference should be uh, uh, with the uh, I don't have it. well new the new world. Hmm? You say new world and steps to new civilization. This reminds us very much of the new world order, which the. Uh, which, which, which exists since Roosevelt, which exists even before New World Order. Hitler wanted to make a New World Order, and this, uh, and, and now the New World Order should happen by the uh, Illuminati in, in, in the United States. And I don't know who in Russia is responsible for the New World Order. I don't know. Illuminati. That. Maybe you can tell us. <laughs> В символе катарсис конференции сказано о шагах к новому миру. Значит, но этот новый мир, он уже содержится где-то, или его надо построить. И здесь нам надо предпринять соответствующие шаги. Yeah. This is what also must be watched out for, this new world order, because it makes difficulties no end, no end in the world. Вот в этой книге сделаны некие предложения на эту тему. And the United Nations also has a university uh, which should be applied to it studying an intelligent world order. Now, a United Nations university is not, uh, is, is, is not uh, taken by, by national interests. It is international. В ООН есть университет, который должен вообще заниматься этими проблемами, но этот университет воплощает как, же, как бы единые международные стандарты и не учитывает интересы отдельных стран. So, if we can see, if, if anybody, if we can help the United Nations through their university, which is not dependent on on, on, on national interests, but on world interests, uh, to make a program, uh, we, we, we maybe can, uh, can, can uh, conquer the social challenge. The social challenge of the United Nations is that one. А не учет этих вот национальных особенностей может привести к усилению социальных, социальных конфликтов, которые потом могут вы, вылиться и на уровень объединенных наций. So, that's it. You have prepared this in uh, electronic form. Yes, yes, of Russian, course, yes. Russian presentation. Yes. Uh -huh. And you, uh, you will read it. Yeah, cool. I think it will open up. You have given it. Yes, yes, it's all read. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. На русском уже будет показано. Thank you very much. Сейчас будет сделан на русский вариант перевода и будет размножено и кто захочет получить. Есть ли вопросы? Any question, please? Ну, мы подождем. Maybe later. Maybe later. After Russian translate. Чехарусаны from Japan. Question for you. Тихо, 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 тихо
Please, in, in English, please. Because uh, in English, please. Very strong earthquake took place in Japan, you know. Yeah. On that uh, March that the 11th, 2011. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a strong rumor in Japan and around the world yes. that the earthquake was not natural, this is not but natural, no. uh, it is really not it, is, uh, it is artificial. artificial. It's a very small catastrophe. It is not global. The media, of course, make a lot of catastrophes from it, but it is not really big. The global catastrophe, mm -hmm. I, just as an example, the global catastrophe. Ah, you're, you're talking about the, the spiritual catastrophe of all, of, of all the world. You have oh, talked well. about that. I don't think so. No. I, I don't know. The mm -hmm. media are not the point to, to watch, you know. The media just make sensations. Uh, on the contrary, in Japan, media does not broadcast many, uh, much information about that earthquake. And uh, yes, that's a no, almost all, almost none, I, I would say, none of uh, the population of Japan okay. know the real uh, detailed reality Japan, of, yeah. of what took place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, just as an example, what a big catastrophe was, 650 years ago, with the Gregorian preceding the Gregorian calendar reform, in 250 years, in 250 years, in the third and fourth, in that time, 3,000, over 3,000 towns had to be built new. Новгород, Неаполь, all these Докладчик towns говорил о катастрофах, и Чихару Сана спрашивает его, как его идеи связаны с вот событиями в Японии. Everything is in the internet. You can download it. In the internet or in, uh, in the hands of our engineer? Should be in your internet. But, uh, I don't in the, know. Anyway, only in the internet? In the internet you can download all the papers. Okay, okay. Okay? Mm. Thank you very much.